Okay guys, here's a quick look at my solar water heater, how I build it, and how it works. First I'm going to give you a basic idea of how the whole system works. This diagram is how the system is built. I have a solar water heater on the outside and an electric water heater on the inside. The solar water heater is on the ground while the electric water heater is four feet off of the ground. This allows for thermal siphoning to occur. I first started by building the inside box. I used one eighth inch plywood on the inside and the outside of the wood framed walls with insulation inside the wood frame of the walls. I then added another layer of insulation that I secured to the plywood on the inside of the box. Added some tin foil to give the inside of the box a reflective surface. Recycling an old gas water heater by stripping off the outer casing and foam insulation. Stripping the foam insulation was the hardest part of the whole project as it was stuck to the entire side of the tank once the uh, casing was removed. And painting the tank and all components that are going to be inside the insulated box flat black which gives the solar water heater its solar heat absorbing capability. A bit of advice from my experience, a water heater that sets up for a long time unused collects moisture inside the top of the casing and condensated water will rust the tank and so it is not a bad idea to pressure test the tank for leaks prior to construction. After attempting several different ways to lay out the water pipe configuration, I discovered the best configuration is to always have the hot water discharge at the top, which proved to be the best idea. And with the plexiglass going on top, the solar water heater is now ready for operation. And on the first day of operation, we can see the design is beginning to work. This picture was taken on May 11, 2008. And this picture was taken on May 12th, the next day. This picture was taken on July 15, 2008, the hottest temperature that I have ever recorded. And here is the thermal siphoning at work. The solar water heater on the outside is heating the hot water tank on the inside. There is no electricity being used in this picture. And here is the electric water heater just as it was in the diagram. The device on the top of the water heater is a mechanical clock that is hooked up directly to the heating element. This allows me to monitor just how much electricity is being used to heat water. Now here is a part of the power management system for the electric water heater. This contactor is what controls the water heater turning on and off. The white box on the left is a controller. It helps allow me to control the water heater from virtually anywhere inside the house. This is a control pad that I have just inside the front door. This not only controls the electric water heater, but also everything else in the house that is remote control but I will explain that part in a moment. This looks like a typical alarm clock, but it is not. 
It also controls anything in the house that is remote control, like the water heater. In the cool months when I need my electric heater, I program the electric water heater to come on and go off about an hour to an hour and a half before I get up. Therefore, this is the only time of the day that I even use electricity to heat water in the wintertime. Now here are some characteristics of the system. Those characteristics are, one, I get hot water in the evening. Two, I have hot water the next morning via the tank on the inside. Three, I use almost no electricity to heat water during the summer months. And four, the only electricity used to heat water is during the winter or when there's not enough sun.